What's up, Gunpla Modeler? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Models, and today I'm going to review this. This is the Fine Scale Modeler's January February edition for 2023. Now, I've always picked up a Fine Scale Model magazine every now and then, depending on the magazine, but this one has something specific. There's a great article on dioramas and Gundam. We'll talk about that in a moment, but we're going to review the magazine. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, MRC is releasing the uh, 135th scale Hanamag uh, SD, uh, SDKFZ251-1 OSC. Yeah, it's a mouthful. And here's, of course, some of the articles here. But I'm the reason why I'm picking this up also is because I'm noticing that fine scale model, modelers are now um, looking at all the model builders out there who like to build Gundam as well. And we're going to discover a few things here in a few moments. So we've got here... Oh, so Trumpeter is releasing the F-35C Lightning II at 132nd scale for a whopping $229. Whoa, that has to have a lot of detail. Trumpeters are known for making large-scale aircraft. Um, we know that we're getting a, a, an F-35 from Tamiya at 148th scale, but that's pretty big. Ukrainian, oh, that's a new aircraft right there from IBG, not familiar with that. Some tanks. There's a uh, Stug. Um, doesn't say the price. But, oh, no, yeah, it's one thirty. It's one thirty fifth scale. But it's from Mini Art. We have scale ships here. Um, Flyhawks, HMS Formidable, sixty dollars. A dry dock. Some cars, Hot Wheel model kits. That's something you don't normally see every day. And then we have uh, spacecraft. We have oh, so is that a is this a reissue or a new um, new mold for the Tie Fighter, Mandalorian? That's a lot of money, seventy six dollars for a one seventy second scale. But it that's you know they put a lot of work into it. Enterprise C. Yeah. So this article is about the future of scale modeling, and it really is cool because obviously it talks about where modeling is going, um, how many people are getting into it, and what's influencing people from getting into it, uh, especially the younger, um, the younger generation of people who are now getting into building model kits and competing with their Gundams, as you can see there. I see a perfect grade. Um, um, RX-72, there's a Freedom Gundam, I think that's a Gundam there, can't tell what that is, that's a, that's a, a ground type GM, there's, I believe that's the new, no, that's not the new, but yeah, so, it's shows like these that bring, uh, new, new bottle builders into the, into the fray, and, you know, I guess, you know, people like to build Gundam, but not many people realize that you can actually, you know, compete and, and display and paint. And because of me and all other model builders out there uh, who have been showing some great content on YouTube, we're starting to see, you know, right now, um, more, more more and more people getting into it. So this is great to see something like that. Here's another thing, like, you see how kids like to get into model building. And, of course, that's a nice little... Uh, display of Gundam kits and all this stuff like that. Yeah, uh, pick up this article. This is uh, pick up this magazine. This has some great articles right here. Full body fuselage of a uh, 1969 Dodge Polara 500. Uh, this guy is customized and all that stuff. I think they. I think uh, part of the article was about 3D printing, or maybe may have missed that, but yeah, this is very nice. Getting started with 3D printing, so here it is, um, all the detailed information, and I remembered a long time ago, um, 
there was a mechanism uh, episode where they talked about is 3D printing considered cheating? Unless you print out the entire kit, maybe. Unless the um, unless the place you're going to compete with is saying uh, no printing whatsoever, no 3D printing, then that's understandable. But still, you have some great choices and ideas to use here. Uh, sometimes there are parts that don't exist, and it is difficult to create. Here, positioning of 3D printing. One day... I will get into this. I'm not a big fan of it, but I will get into this. All right, so this one, an unlikely commission. What happens when a Gundam fan wants a 1-100 scale diorama for the truck of her, trunk of her car? So this is a massive diorama build of the Master Grade um, Wing Gundam, Wing Gundam Zero versus Gundam Epion. But look at all the work that this person has put in. Um, he went step by step on what to do here. How to cut the boards, what materials he used, all that stuff. This is amazing, amazing work right there. I mean, there's some great information here on what to do. I mean, it doesn't. Ha you don't have to do something like this. But it, it gives you another... Um, perspective on what he did to achieve this and look at this um, look at the detail in here especially you know debris and 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 all that and of course he used a stencil here to give it a little bit more uh, you know type of uh, what do you call it um, oh god I know it's, it's like a oh lightly worn effect there you go now the one thing about this is that the commission was that he decided to make a diorama that can go into the trunk of a car. A car that, of course, says Wing Zero on it. Wow, that's amazing. Of course, it's amazing the fact that this is a huge, a huge diorama that takes up an entire trunk space. So, this is not something you're going to display it on your table. But, you have a general idea of where to go. Moving on, we have a pair of winning uh, fours. A pair of, no, winning a pair of fours. What does that mean? But it is a pair of uh, Douglas prop liners, mini craft. So he's using two of these to do specific ones. I wonder if he's using Alaclide for the metallic. Using super glue. This is a good article and for, for those who have no idea what super glue to use and how to use it and how to how it's cured what kind of reaction it does this is a perfect example on uh, on how to use it uh, for those who want to paint figures some great ideas here i'm not a big figure fan unfortunately it's it's not not something i like um maybe because i don't have the skills for it uh, sink into your clothes. Oh, Black Panther. What, uh, what? This is an Academy 135th scale. K2 Black Panther. Nice. And look at the detail that this guy put in uh, making his own engine. I don't know if the engine is part of the kit or if he had bought a third party line. I see some parts that look like resin parts. So he must have purchased some resins. And then the painting, of course, and the weathering. That is top notch right there. Some old model kits. Not many people, uh, not many magazines review old model kits. But you'll find them here and there. And they're very expensive. Ooh, that's a big Chinook. Trumpeter's 135th scale. I've seen, I've seen that many times at hobby shows. That 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 will take up your your works your work table completely. So you you better have enough room for it, um, especially with all the propellers. Uh, you know the, I mean it'll take up 
um, an immense amount of space. And this guy decided to put LED lights on it. Or did he put a motor? It would have been funny if he did put a motor in it. To see those like, propellers going around. I think I remember seeing someone not using the Chinook, but another helicopter. And he put a motor in it. But it was one of those fast motors that he actually put a bunch of cogwheels on it. So as it was spinning very fast, it, the cogwheels made it go slower and slower so that the propellers just move slow like in a like in a getting ready to start up mode type thing so it was neat to see something like that new kits are coming out like the uh, 135th scale uh, Sagamon USS Sagamon which is retailing at $162 it's a it's a small but big uh, baby flat top we have here Eduardo's 148 scale Wildcat F4, F3. Nice. Uh, yeah, and the Comet. I think this is a new tooling because I never don't think I remember to me I'm making a Comet at 135 scale. I've seen the Comet at 140, 48 scale. And that's pretty much it. And of course, like I was mentioning before, Lockheed Martin's F35 a Lightning II, which is coming out soon. This concludes, of course, the uh, review of Finding Scale Modeler's January February edition of 2023 and a brief insight of the Build a Gigantic Gundam Diorama, which, of course, is the reasons why I'm showing you this because next, in my next video, I will talk about my diorama contest. With that being said, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching and stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all have a great day.